Alan is a professional martial artist that came in three years ago for a hearing loss that he suffered because of acoustic neuroma or a tumor near his eardrum. He was really struggling, so he searched the internet and found my channel and decided to give my treatment a try. Initially, we didn't see much change with his hearing. However, Alan noticed a ton of other physical change that really was a game changer. Over the span of three years, he eventually had proton therapy on his tumor and it shrunk it a lot. However, his hearing didn't come back, so he came back into my office. This video is the conclusion of three years of time in my office and a journey that has been a struggle, but hopefully you will see a happy ending. Check it out. I have an acoustic neuroma, been diagnosed two years ago, and been affected my ear. I have a constantly, you know, tendinitis in the ear. What's your accent? Where are you from, sir? Brazil. Brazil. And what is your sport? What, is, what do you do? Uh, I'm a master in capoeira, practitioner of jiu-jitsu, and muay thai. Gotcha. And so uh, you take a lot of abuse in your sport, and you've never ever had any problems before these two years ago, right? No. And so you went in because he started to lose his hearing, thought maybe it was probably an injury, and then they did an MRI. Yeah, it affected my ear and my balance and everything. What have you done for treatment, sir? Um, I've been doing the laser therapy and the hyperbaric chamber. So. Okay, so we also have some history of a problem with um, sleep. Uh, has a little heartburn, not tons. A little numbness in his hands, left shoulder problem. But tell us what else is going on, sir. Anything else? Left knee, right ankle, left shoulder. Yeah, pretty much he's here for hearing, which I'm think I'm stoked with. Uh, go ahead and touch those. Good. Any pain, discomfort, or tension in your back? What's tension? You said the number. Now four. Four. Gotcha. Go back like this, sir. And what is that? Five. Five. Gotcha. With your neck, look down. No. Nothing. Look at the ceiling. Zero. Now you guys see his range of motion when he's doing this. Arm over your head, please. Tension in your shoulder. Four. Four. Back on your back, please. Two. Two. Okay, it was a five minute ago, but that's fine. Yeah. Squat to the ground. How much tension in your ankles, knees? And, and their ankles. And how much was like it? Four or five. Four or five. It was a six a minute ago, so it's changing a little bit. Let's check his hearing. So come a little closer, please. What's no. the difference? Big difference. I hear nothing on the right side. Gotcha, you hear nothing. Tons and tons of arthritis in his neck. Hey guys, we have a 10 millimeter right imbalance and 18 millimeter lower right shoulder. Here we have a 10 millimeter right short leg, seven degree lumbar curve. Here we have phase three or neck arthritis, one half atlas square and a high reverse curve, pretty bad one. Here we have hyperlordosis and lumbar arthritis. This is three years freaking later and I still haven't put this video out. And I wanted to get him on camera one more time before I post the video. Uh, you can see he's changed a lot over the years and I probably have changed too a little bit. Um, he's obviously better looking now than he was. For sure. He likes that stuff. Uh, why don't you tell us why you came back again? I haven't seen you for how long? It was about two years? Yeah, Since after the pandemics happened, we all got kind of Yeah, we got a little scared. Don't go, go out. Stay so at home. You yeah. didn't come for the treatment. I stopped mm -hmm. the training. Then I got the weight back, mm -hmm. the anxiety back, yeah, a little yeah. bit sleep, of sleep, yeah. and bad sleeping. Yeah. You came in years ago for your ear. Remember that? We talked, exactly. we, tried, we didn't yes. get it a lot better back then, but uh, what happened over the pandemic? It got worse. It did get worse. And you had the surgery, now you have the, uh, the, the, uh, the proton, proton thing. Yeah. So tell us about that real quick. Just a little short story on the proton and then what happened yeah, over Yeah, we years. did. Uh, a proton therapy for the acoustic neuroma, and it did get smaller, mm -hmm. but the balance got worse. And how about the hearing? The hearing got worse. <laughs> then I was not coming yeah, yeah, to yeah. my savior. Savior, but I'm just saying he tried a whole bunch of things. He tried me at first, and it didn't help a lot. He thought, and so he went to the proton therapy because by shrinking the tumor, it would be better. Yeah, but it didn't make anything better. And then you uh, know, it was just getting smaller. It, it, it was did, getting smaller. No, what I'm yeah. saying is symptoms didn't get better. And so the re he thought he was going to have his hearing back 100% and all these things, the balance was going to get better, but it all got worse over oh. the pandemic. Uh, you know, being at home, getting beat up by your wife, that probably didn't help either. No. Yeah. <laughs> so then I come back in training, then I start again. The problem, pain in the ankle. 
Yeah, uh, knee, the knee, the left knee, the ankle, yeah, the neck. Uh, the neck, so... And problem running too. I've right? been back an hour because my third week. Third week, yeah. Since the 18th. Yeah, and then every time I got better, the pain the knees, the core, the hearing got much better. Yeah. I'm start to relax, fall asleep, having better energy, thank God. I wish I would have got the first video on him, because in the first video, because I remember him two years ago. I mean, his hearing wasn't that bad, but this time he did the exam, he goes, huh? Huh? And he kept doing that, and I'm like, what is he doing? He goes, he couldn't hear me. He couldn't hear me. Yeah. And so he just noticed about a week ago that his hearing is like... Oh, way better. Yeah, much way better. better. Much yeah. better. About a lot. He was sitting in the car with his kids, and they're talking. He goes, I can hear what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, I'm happy to help him out. I, this guy's a great yeah, that guy. That was scary. You know, losing your hearing is not a good thing. Not at all. No, no, no. And I'm glad I can help. And so his sinus is really bad. So uh, his hearing's coming back. Sinus, how about your calf pain? you have calf pain too? It's still bad less. But it's also for training, jumping Of course, of course, of course, of course. But all this stuff's getting better. How about the sinuses and allergies too? Yeah, the sinuses are still there. Yeah. If you heard him a couple weeks ago when he first came up, he sounded like it. He sounded really much... Yeah. He sounds better now. But again, most important thing is hearing's coming back. Thank you for the video. Anything else you want to share? Anything else getting better? Uh, Worse? No, everything's getting better. Yeah. Like first time I came in here, I have to put that out there. I wasn't sure because the treatment you need patience and everything. We don't know if it works or not. Yeah. First he, time when I started treatment, so I'm like, ah. Oh, 2019. This is bar is a pen, uh, man. Beep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's totally different. I say, okay, this shit really works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then when I come back, it's totally different because I know I trust this guy right here. I came 100% now then. The treatment worked, was worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. know, to put the time, and this, I have to drive an hour yeah, to come yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I can and guess what? Yeah. Not even a month, I'm already getting back. Getting back, exactly. So uh, we've had a good relationship over the last couple of years, so he's a lot of fun. And so I'm glad he's back, and I wanted to show you his whole story. So, so we'll go from there. Us. <laughs> What's that? Us. We've been watching. Um, a lot of uh, Karate Kid on TV. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. <laughs> Don't miss season five. It's coming. Okay, let's see you, Justin. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't. I'm not. I'm not as engorged as you are. <laughs> you're gonna have to. Oh, gonna have to do push-ups uh, How many push-ups you do a day? Hundred. Do you hundred every day? It's easy. Yeah. Not every day. And then most time they make us do it. Good. Good. Wow. wow. That's pretty good today. Okay. Push the belly down. Good. Oh, that feels good actually. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. One more down here. Good. Okay. On your back. I told you to do what? I gotta get that on camera. Uh, I told me to. I sure I, the sinus before I go to training yeah, yeah. and it did help a lot yeah. and the reason for that is why was I telling you that because breathing is so important yeah, I thought it was my cardio was bad because I'm overweight but it's when I air. ice it I could work out longer longer had, exactly yeah I could, the breathing yeah. is much better um, so I have a lot of people who have sinus issues that have back pain and the reason for that is because the human body wants air the brain wants air, mm -hmm. so you modify your posture to get air. Does that make sense? That's yeah. why icing your sinuses make you sleep better and work out better and do things better because you're not struggling to breathe. Okay. Oh, this yeah. was tough, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shakes the whole brain. <laughs> We're gonna work on the sinuses here too. And so we talked about icing the sinuses, guys. This is where I'm icing these points I'm pushing out right now. Mm. The reason you ice, you wanna shrink swollen tissues, allow air to get up into the nasal passages to dry out the sinuses. Okay. Did you have sinus surgery too? Nope. You haven't had it? I had another patient the other day, still has problems with the sinuses and he had the surgery too. 
Heat is bad for the nose, guys. Heat is bad. So he has a little bit of knee problem here. So we're gonna work on his knee a little bit, work on the popliteus. A lot of times, the popliteus gets tight and this is a muscle that stabilizes the knee when you run. Okay. It's worse? Oh yeah, much worse. Yeah. So anyways, popliteus. It stops rotation of the knee, or helps stabilize the knee. So when you strike the ground, a lot of times this muscle gets spasmed, which doesn't allow, <laughs> which doesn't allow the knee to work properly. So we loosen this muscle up, and will be able to run better. And it hurts the sciatic too. Yep.